on our channel. Today we are going to learn about the topic opening and closing of stomata. First let us have a look what are stomata. So stomata are the tiny pores or tiny openings which are present on the outermost tissue of leaves that is the epidermal tissue of the leaves. They regulate the exchange of gases between the plants and the atmosphere. Now what is the function of stomata? These stomatal pores, they open up. You can see here it is open up and when it is open, it receives carbon dioxide and releases oxygen and water vapors which are formed as a byproduct of photosynthesis. That is why most of the stomata or stomatal pores are present below the surface of the leaf. When they are present below, they can reduce the water loss by evaporation. So the stomatal pores, they close. Why do they close? They close to reduce the water loss by the plants. So we can summarize the functions of stomata. Functions of stomata is number one, it receives carbon dioxide and number two, releases oxygen and water vapors. Now you see this exchange receiving of carbon dioxide and releasing of oxygen and water vapor is maximum during the daytime when the stomata are open and at the night time the stomata these pores they close to reduce the water loss clear now how do this stomata open and close this stomatal pore, you can see here, this is the stomatal pore, which is guarded by two bean-shaped guard cells. So, stomatal pore is guarded by two guard cells. These guard cells have a thin wall outside and thick wall inside. Okay. This thinner wall on the outer sides of the guard cells, it allows the intake of water. That means water is absorbed more and more. Now when these guard cells, they absorb more and more water vapor, they become turgid. Okay, they become turgid. Like we can see raisins, when we absorb the raisins or when we soak the raisins in water, they absorb more amount of water and they become turgid. Right, and when they lose water, they become flaccid. So it is due to turgid changes. Turgor changes in guard cells. This is a very important line. The turgor changes in guard cells helps the stomata to open and to close. When the guard cells absorb more and more amount of water, the guard cell becomes turgid, okay? Becomes tight so that the stomatal pores open. You can see here this pore is open for the exchange of gases and water vapor, right? Now at the night time, when they do not photosynthesize, they cannot intake carbon dioxide or give out oxygen. So at that time, they need to close the stomatal pores to reduce the water loss. So how do they do this? This time, these guard cells, they will lose water. Guard cells, lose water it becomes flaccid okay and the stomatal pore closes clear so it is the turgor changes in the guard cell when the there is turgor changes when they absorb water they become turgid stomatal pore opens when they lose water they become flaccid and the stomatal pore closes this is all about opening and closing of stomata